We're here at Harris Cross tonight for the final of the Ted Hegarty Open Marathon. It's one of the great distance events in the Irish calendar, traditionally the last event of the entire season, being run, of course, this year, two days before Christmas, over the 1,010 yards. In one Aero Gaga, which is owned by Stuart Forsdyke, trained by Sally Williams, the son of Kinloch Bray and Great Madden. This dog has done most of his racing across the water, perfectly drawn on the inside, and was a very good surprise winner of the semi-finals. Big chance on the inside. Two can Craig Jamie, the outsider of the party here, owned by Robert Agnew, his daughter of Headbound and Kim Craig Brindle, and Jamie ran on very strongly here in the semi-final when second behind Storm Pocket. Then in three is the big staying Storm Pocket, owned by the Bad Boys for Life Syndicate, trained by Craig Ellison, a daughter of Westmead Hawk and Wine Gap Aero. Well, we had heard nothing of this one really before the stake started. We'll be out the back early on, but comes home like an express train. In four, then, we have Skywalker Cindy, trained by Francis O'Donnell for Ray Patterson, daughter of Westmead Hawk and Droopy's Williams. Brilliant stare all her career. She was a top class five to five yard performer also, and she's taken very well to this distance, running on strongly in the semi final and only beaten by Aero Gaga in the fastest time of the round. In five, we have the English challenger Lottie's Girl, which is trained by Heather Dimmock for Chris Richards, a daughter of Westmead Hawk and lively Jubbly, one of the top stairs across the water for some time and has been running well in the stake here, won the semi-final last week. Sixth then is last year's winner, Slaney Side Havoc, and the one they have to beat again probably, trained by Jerry Kyo for Sean O'Neill and Karen Hare, a son of Headbound and Maru Blue. He's won 21 races, can he make it 22 tonight? A big stare, and he's the one to beat, as we say. Well, the hair on its way for the final, in one Aero Gaga, two King Craig Jamie, three of Storm Pockets, Four Skywalker Cindy, five Lottie's Girl, and six Slaney Side Havoc. And away to go, number two is out fast. That's Kin Craig Jamie leads up from five Lottie's Girl. One Aero Gaga goes up the inside, and Aero Gaga rails tightly, takes it up between the opening bends, and it's one. Aero Gaga leads into the far side from two King Craig Jamie. Now four Skywalker Cindy flashes past into second spot, takes up the chase, begins to cut down the gap as Aero Gaga leads. Skywalker Cindy in second, and now Lottie's Girl is third. This trio have pulled away the two big stairs are at the rear as one. Aero Gaga leads, a circuit to go from four. Skywalker Cindy, five Lottie's Girl. Now Slaney Side Havoc moves into fourth and Storm Pockets is following him through into fifth. Down the far side, Aero Gaga out by two and a half, three lengths. Four Skywalker Cindy, here's Sk Slaney Side and Storm Pockets flying through. Forced to check there was Slaney Side. So is Storm Pockets turning for home. Aero Gaga by a length from four Skywalker Cindy. Here's three Storm Pockets. Pockets with her big flying run up to the line. One Aero Gaga holds on to win it. Oh, brilliant performance all the way virtually there for Aero Gaga holding on from three Storm Pockets and six Slaney Side Havoc. Another thrilling finish to the Ted Hegarty Marathon here at Harold's Cross. Well, a thrilling final to the Ted Hegarty Open Marathon and won in such gallant fashion by Aero Gaga, won by Stuart Forsdyke, trained by Sally Williams, winning by half a length from number three Storm Pockets with six Slaney Side Havoc, three quarters of a length away third. The time was 58-29 great competition here at Harris Cross. Teddy can't see your Sally. Great stairs tonight. Sally for your head. Aero Gaga emerges as the best on the night. <laughs>